Well, you guys must be enjoying this rainy weather and monsoon season. Well, I can't say much about Liberia, but definitely it's a season of malaria. Hi everyone, Namaskar, this is Dr. Panikant. Welcome to my health channel. About 216 million people suffered from malaria worldwide and 445,000 people died alone in 2016, according to World Health Organization. About half the population of the world in more than 106 countries are in areas at risk of malaria transmission. In India, in 2017, there were more than 841,000 cases of malaria and 105 people died. Malaria is a mosquito-borne infectious disease, mostly prevalent in the tropical and subtropical countries like in Africa and Asia. The term malaria originates from medieval Italian word malaria, which means bad ear. Nowadays, we associate malaria with the African and the South Asian countries. But once malaria was very common in the most of the Europe and North America, but it's no longer endemic now. Hippocrates described periodic fevers like tertian and quartan. In Rome, it was known as Roman fever, and malaria had been contributed to the decline of the Roman Empire. The first significant scientific study on malaria was done in 1880 by a French army doctor, Charles Louis, in an army hospital in Algeria. He observed the parasites in the red blood cells of infected patients for the first time, for which he was awarded Nobel Prize in 1907. In 1897, Sir Ronald Ross, a British doctor working in Indian Medical Service, discovered the life cycle of malaria parasite in mosquitoes and proved that mosquito was the vector for malaria. For this, he received the Nobel Prize in 1902. So this was a brief history about malaria. Malaria is caused by parasitic protozoans known as plasmodium, which are transmitted by infected female Anopheles mosquitoes. Only female mosquitoes bite and transmit the disease because they need blood to develop their eggs. They usually bite between dusk and dawn, that is mainly in night. Malaria parasites belong to genus Plasmodia, and in human, only five species are found to cause malaria. They are Plasmodium falciparum, Plasmodium malaria, Plasmodium vivax, Plasmodium ovale, and Plasmodium nolesi. 75% of the infections are caused by Plasmodium falciparum. When a female Anopheles mosquito bites a person, it transmits the sporozoid of Plasmodium through its saliva. The sporozoids travel through the blood vessels to liver cells and reproduces their asexually, producing merozoids. And this infects the new red blood cells, which burst and cause flu-like symptoms and other life-threatening conditions. And the life cycle goes on. Now let's see the signs and symptoms of malaria. Patients with malaria typically become symptomatic in 8 to 25 days after infection. The symptomatology and the incubation period may vary depending on the host factors and the causative species. The initial manifestation of malaria are similar to flu-like symptoms. The presentation may include headache, fever, shivering, chills, body ache, joint pain, fatigue, and cough. Less common symptoms are like nausea, vomiting, anorexia, diarrhea, and jaundice. The classical symptom of malaria is paroxysm, that is, sudden coldness, followed by shivering and then fever and sweating occurring every two days, which is known as tertian fever. It's seen mainly in Plasmodium vivax, ovale, and falciparum infection. When the cycle occurs every three days, it's known as quartan fever and is seen in Plasmodium malaria. This tertian and quartan fever are due to cyclic lysis or rupture of red blood cells in body when the tropozoids of Plasmodium complete their life cycles. Severe malaria is usually caused by Plasmodium falciparum and it manifests as cerebral malaria, encephalopathy, severe anemia, pulmonary edema, respiratory distress, and renal failure. Cerebral malaria is the most common cause of death in patients with malaria. In pregnant women, malaria can cause stillbirths, abortion, infant mortality, and low birth weight of the baby. So how can you diagnose malaria? Malaria can have a very non-specific presentation of symptoms. Early diagnosis and treatment reduce the disease 
and prevent deaths. So you should always consult a doctor as early as possible instead of doing self-diagnosis and playing Google doctor. Well, diagnosis of malaria can be confirmed by microscopic examination of the blood films, rapid diagnostic test for malaria antigen, and detection of plasmodium by PCR assay. Now let's see how we can treat malaria. Treatment of malaria depends on time and severity of the disease. So if you have suspected signs and symptoms of malaria, then please do visit your doctor or nearby hospital without wasting your time. Malaria is treated with anti-malarial drugs like quinine, chloroquine, hemodiaquine, mefloquine, pyrimethamine, primaquine, sulfadoxin, artemisinin and derivatives, doxycycline, clindamycin, etc. World Health Organization recommends ACT, that is artemisinin based combination therapy like artesunate plus mefloquine in uncomplicated falciparum malaria. Severe or complicated malaria should be treated with intravenous or intramuscular artesunate and combinations and other supportive therapies. Well, prevention is always better than cure. So what can we do to prevent malaria? It can be done by medications, controlling the mosquitoes and preventing bites. Use of insect repellent, insecticides, mosquito nets, and residual indoor spraying are highly effective in preventing malaria. Anti-malarial drugs are also used as chemoprophylaxis for malaria prevention, especially for travelers in endemic areas. A vaccine against malaria is also being developed, named RTSS, also known as Mosquitix. Pilot projects of this vaccine are being rolled out in some African countries. Hope finally we get an effective vaccine against malaria and end this menace of mosquitoes and its parasites. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and share and like this video. You can write in comment section about which health topics or diseases that you want me to cover. Wish you all good health. See you again. Take care.